today about how to change a WordPress site from left to right, which is what many uh, languages around the world, Western languages like English, most European languages, um, apart from Greek, um, are default where text goes from the left of the screen to the right. We call it left to right. Now, there are other languages such as Arabic and Hebrew where things go from right to left. So a really common question that we see all the time is how do I change my WordPress site to be right to left as opposed to left to right? So today I'm using the success theme from Commerce Gurus, which you can find on ThemeForest, link below. And we're going to look at how to make this site switch from left to right to right to left. So the first thing you're going to need to do with any WordPress site is to make sure that your theme that you're using, first of all, supports right to left. And how do we know that? If you go to your control panel, if you're using a control panel, like cPanel, for example, and you go in and actually look at your themes. Um, if the theme supports right to left, you will see a file called rtl.css. So the rtl.css file is a style sheet that is specifically provided by the theme author to ensure that the theme will work correctly when you switch your site to right to left mode to RTL. If your theme does not have an rtl.css file, there is a very good chance, 99% chance, that your theme is incompatible with RTL. So in that case, you would want to reach out to the theme author and ask them to provide an RTL CSS file, or you're gonna to need to find an alternative theme. So, next step is, there are two ways which you can test RTL mode. First of all, there is a plugin called RTL Tester. So we go to plugins, add new, and we type RTL tester. Find it here. <clears throat> Install and we activate the RTL tester. Now, once that plugin is installed and activated, you'll now find there's a new switch to RTL option in the toolbar, in the WordPress toolbar. If I switch that now, we'll see that our entire WordPress user interface switches from left to right to right to left. Voila. If you're a WordPress product developer, whether that be a theme or a plugin, it's really worth spending some time to use WordPress in right to left mode. You'll see it it's quite takes a if you've never seen this before, it can take a little bit of time just to adjust to seeing how those who read and write primarily in RTL languages, it's a very interesting experience to use WordPress in this way. Uh, especially if you've never it's, it's very unusual, odd things like drop downs work very differently to how you might expect. Or just hold your machine up to a mirror, whichever you find easier to do. So once I switch to RTL mode, if I then go back to the front of the website, you would see that not only is the WordPress admin UI switched from LTR to RTL, you'll see that the front end website also has as well. So you'll see now that most things that should read from right to left do. Obviously, things that are exceptions are things that are centered, they stay centered. Anywhere where there was text aligned on the left is now switched to the right. Okay, so that's really useful if you're just looking to test a theme or a plugin, how it works in RTL mode. Again, I can quickly switch back here to left to right again. Okay. Now, what if I want to make the switch permanent? What do we do? So let's go back to WordPress. What I'll do for the 
purposes of clarity is I will now remove the RTL tester plugin. And this is important, uh, particularly if you want to ensure the rest of the world is seeing your changes. You can sometimes forget about the RTL tester plugin and you think you've switched the site to be in RTL mode. And lo and behold, it's not, it's just the tester plugin. So I've now gotten rid of the RTL tester plugin. How do we make the change permanent? Well, if you've downloaded the English version of WordPress um, and you want to switch, you're going to need to make a change to your WP config file, which we'll talk you through now. The alternative is you can download WordPress in, for example, there is an Arabic version of WordPress that you can download separately, uh, which comes pre-configured for Arabic. So there's a couple of different options. Let's for the let's for the purposes of this tutorial assume that you've downloaded the English version you want to switch to Arabic. So what you want to do is you want to go in and edit your WP config file. So we're going to do that here now. So I'm just going to open the file up. What we want to do, uh, just got the string here. I'll grab it for the speed. And we'll just drop it here. So you can see we're defining the WP Lang constant in WordPress and we're giving it a AOR code. So these are standard internationalized, um, what's the word, abbreviations for um, languages. So pretty much every language on the planet has an, uh, a short code. And in this case, Arabic is AOR. So for other languages like Hebrew, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there'll be an equivalent code for that. You'll find those um, from the WordPress codex. So what we want to do here now is we want to save a constant and we will go back to WordPress. Now you'll see, okay, I've said to be Arabic, why hasn't it switched? So you have one final step which is in settings and we need to go to site language, change it to Arabic and we hit save and drum roll. We're switched to RTL. And if I just go back now to the front end, Let's see, we've also switched RTL. The other difference here you'll note is that the entire UI user interface and back end has switched from English to Arabic. So that's a difference that we wouldn't have seen with the RTL tester plugin. Um, again, you can easily switch back to English. We'll go back and check again. And it should flip back to LTO. There we go. So that's it, folks. Um, it's as simple as that. It doesn't require a lot of work. It, it's not a very well documented process in WordPress land, hence this video. Um, particularly that the whole, there's not a explicitly defined setting in WordPress that says switch to RTL, which I think is quite confusing. Uh, to a lot of people who are beginners. Uh, obviously it makes sense once you've done it a few times that you can switch language, um, but that it's implicitly, that the decision to switch to RTL is implicit with the language you select isn't very clear. Uh, so hopefully that's helped you. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you very much.